uh, I had to take the train the other day. Um, it was late at night. I was taking it to go home, and it was about 11.45. I was with a friend of mine. And uh, if you don't know this, 11.45 is basically the witching hour for trains. Basically, junkies and crack people from all over swarm the trains just for like an evening out, really. Because they've got places to go, people to see at 11.45. So we get on the uh, train with my friend. We go into, we pick a car to get on. We go in and I see a couple as soon as I walk in and I know that I've gotten on the wrong car. Obviously some hygiene issues with this couple. Uh, that was apparent and very intense. So, but they were in a sort of uh, a standstill, a makeout standstill. This guy had his face leaned up against her face, but there was no movement. There was no action going on. It was just still. It's kind of like in the Matrix, if you've ever seen it, like when bullets fly in the Matrix and everything just sort of stands still around it. That's like, they were like the bullet. He's breathing in her mouth. So I see this and I think, I got on the wrong car. This is gonna get weird. So we move farther down uh, to stay away from those people, right? We're talking, everything's going pretty good. Then we make a stop, right? Another person gets on. Of course, who is it gonna be? Another crazy, because we need more. We need more than at least two. We need like maybe five, five or six. That would be good, right? Of course. So this guy gets on. I don't really see him because I got my back to him. And uh, this guy's got a plastic bag. Yes, that's right. And if you know anything about this, people with plastic bags, not to be trusted. Not to be trusted because normally, okay, crazy people love carrying plastic bags, especially with a small item in the bag. We don't know what it is, but it's obviously very important to them because they're always hanging on very, uh, it's, uh, don't touch. So this guy has the plastic bag and he's walking on and he's doing like a stand-up routine, but he's not trying to be funny, he's trying to be creepy, very creepy, because he's letting everybody know on the train, I'm on the train. <laughs> so he gets on and I hear this weird sort of chatter and he's talking to every single person that's in the train, sitting down. And he's saying things like, uh, do you feel uncomfortable? I got some shoes. Is this seat taken? <laughs> I'm feeling quite an itch coming on. You look gorgeous in blue. Cinco de Mayo. Come on over here and sit on my lap. So we say all this stuff and I hear it and I'm like, that's a little weird. And I kind of turn a little bit and he's coming and he turns to me and my friend and he goes, do you still love me? I pause. I'm very, I'm very quiet. I don't reply. My friend and I continue speaking. This guy knows he's got everyone's attention. He goes up to the top of the stairs to go up on the upper level and he step, he pauses, right? Everyone is holding their breath. Please do not pull out a gun, <laughs> right? <laughs> he, uh, he pauses and he turns around and says, <laughs> oh. So I was just relieved that he went upstairs, first of all. I swear two minutes later, the security guy is booking it down and he's going right up there. I have no idea what was happening on the top. Uh, crazy, right? So, as soon as that guy goes upstairs, the little uh, crackheads in the back, uh, they get into a fight. Boom! Your, the emotions erupt. So their conversation is so loud, it, you can, it's just booming and everybody can hear what's, what they're saying because they're so loud. So they're talking about getting their money and getting all that stuff and he was just like, ugh, ugh, ugh. He was ridiculous, really. So basically uh, the point of the story is don't do drugs, really. Because you don't want to be the guy that says, I am not paranoid, what was that? And then turns around and starts making out with the girl with one yellow tooth and the unibrow. Ugh. All right, so in the comments, write down if you've had interesting train experiences or public transport um, experiences. You know, crazy things happen on buses as well, subways. Ah. So write down your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. I would love it. All right, that's it, everyone. I will see you in the next video.